थ्री बुक सेवन द बुक ऑफ योग कैंटो थ्री द एंट्री इन टू द इनर कंट्रीज पेज फोर एटी एट At first, out of the busy hum of mind, as if from a loud thronged market into a cave, by an inward moment's magic, she had come. A stark, hushed emptiness became herself, her mind unvisited by the voice of thought. stared at a void deep dumb infinity her heights receded her depths behind her closed all fled away from her and left her blank but when she came back to her self of thought once more she was a human thing on earth a lump of matter a house of closed sight a mind compelled to think out ignorance a life force pressed into a camp of works and the material world her limiting feel amazed like one unknowing she sought her way out of the tangle of man's ignorant past that took the surface person for the soul Then a voice spoke that dwelt on secret heights for man to seek us not for thyself alone only if god assumes the human mind and puts on mortal ignorance for his cloak and makes himself the dwarf with triple stride can he help man to grow into the god as man disguises the cosmic greatness works and finds the mystic inaccessible gate and opens the immortal's golden door man human follows in god's human steps accepting his darkness though must bring to him light accepting his sorrow though must bring to him bliss in matter's body find thy heaven born soul then savitri surged out of her body's wall and stood a little span outside herself and looked into her subtle being's depths and in its heart as in a lotus bud divined her secret and mysterious soul at the dim portal of the inner life that bars out from our depths the body's mind and all that lives but by the body's breath she knocked and pressed against the ebony gate the living portal groaned with sullen hinge heavily reluctant it complained in earth against the tyranny of the spirit's touch a formidable voice cried from within back creature of earth lest tortured and torn to die a dreadful murmur rose like a dim sea the serpent of the threshold hissing rose a fatal guardian hood with monstrous coils the hounds of darkness growled with jaws agape and trolls and gnomes and goblins scowled and stared and wild beast roarings thrilled the blood with fear and menace muttered in a dangerous tongue unshaken her will pressed on the rigid bars the gate swung wide with a protesting jar the opponent bars with through the dreadful god her being entered into the inner worlds in a narrow passage the subconscious gate she breathed with difficulty 
and pain and straw to find the inner self concealed in sense into a dense of subtle matter packed a cavity filled with a blind mass of power an opposition of misleading gleams a heavy barrier of unseen sight she forced her way through body to the soul across a perilous borderline she passed where life dips into the subconscious dusk or struggles from matter into chaos of mind a swarm with elemental entities and fluttering shapes of vague half body thought and crude beginnings of incontinent force at first a difficult narrowness was there a press of uncertain parts and drifting wheels for all was there but nothing in its place at times an opening came a door was forced she crossed through spaces of a secret self and trod in passages of inner time at last she broke into a form of things a start of finiteness a world of sense but all was still confused nothing self found soul was not there but only cries of life a thronged and clamorous air environed her a horde of sounds defeat significance a dissonant clash of cries and contrary calls a mob of visions broke across the sight a jostle sequence lacking sense and suit feelings pushed through a packed and burdened heart each forced its separate inconsequent way but cared for nothing but its ego's cry a rally without key of common will thought stared at thought and pulled at the thought brain as if to pluck the reason from its seat and cast its corpse into life's wayside drain so might forgotten lie in nature's mud abandoned the slain sentinel of the soul so could life spar shake from its mind's rule nature renounce the spirit's garment and the bare elemental energies make of the sense a glory of boundless joy a splendor of ecstatic anarchy a revel mighty and mad of utter bliss this was the sense instinct void of soul or when the soul sleeps hidden void of power but now the vital godhead wakes within and lifts the life with the supernals touch Supreme Lord, eternal 